very good morning dear friends this is Sandeep Thaiya and today we are going to learn about integrated services in Java 2012 R2 so before going to describe about the topic I just want to give you information about the integrated services of hypervisor So, uh, what are the integrated services and generally where we can use integrated services, right? Integrated services, basically the services which uh, depend on uh, hypervisor and uh, install into uh, guest operating systems and allow the host operating system to stabilize the communication and basically giving the control uh, in another word you can say that integrated service provide better interoperability with the Hyper-V environment and support with VM buses and other virtualization features so uh, now in this particular PPT you are able to see that we have a list of integrated services so we'll start with operating system shutdown then time synchronization then data exchange then heartbeat then backup volume checkpoint and the guest service so uh, enabling and disabling of integrated services is very easy it's simply a checkbox you click on a checkbox and that that particular service is enabled in Hyper-V and if you uncheck that means that particular service is disabled or you can use uh, Microsoft PowerShell for enabling or disabling these services right and uh, before that you have to go to a uh, uh, Hyper-V host and in the Hyper-V host you need to see whether those integrated services are running properly into Hyper-V host then Hyper-V host is able to communicate with the guest operating system right so uh, now I'm going to switch to my uh, uh, environment and where we can see all the integrated services and the impact of those integrated services so uh, now we are uh, into a screen of uh, a server where we have installed system center virtual machine manager so I am having two interfaces here one interface which is a system center virtual machine manager console weeks interface and second interface is one RDP interface so uh, I would like to tell you I am having lots of machines over here right so we have a domain controller then we have a uh, SS server 1 host 2 WSO server VMM server host 1 operation managers but uh, finally I just want to show you the integrated services and for that we need to have the host so finally uh, I'm having the RDP console of host one where we have installed this hypervisor role so now you can see that I'm having this hypervisor role here when I click here you'll able to see uh, uh, Hyper-V is already installed in my uh, server and then I am having few virtual machines which are configured under the hypervisor host one so so now uh, I just want to tell you how these uh, these machines are uh, using integrated services so let me click on one of my client and I need to power on so uh, now my machine is powered on here so I'm not going to uh, um, I'm not going to manage this client through the console so I'm simply going closing the console right. and then I can click here on client one so uh, I can able to see uh, uh, 
the client in a better way so I'm connecting my client one uh, to uh, the client one is basically inside the hypervisor so I want to connect it to the console so I am able to manage it through the console itself so we'll have have a better view okay so now as we see how we can enable or disable the services simply you have to select the client and then you have to uh, see the under the option called settings when I click on the settings then under the settings you have management and in the management you have integrated services when I click on the integrated services then you can see able to see that we have the integrated services right so simply if I want to enable or disable a service I need to click here and need to apply right so net that service is enabled and when I uncheck it back and then again apply now the service is disabled it's very easy right so I need to explain you about all the integrated services which are listed here so we'll start with the operating system shutdown operating system shutdown is basically one integrated services which allow hyper v host to interact with the, the guest operating systems right and uh, allow the host to shut down a machine it's like that now I'm having the four machine and if I want to shut down all the four machines so I'm having uh, option like I need to uh, connect to this particular machine and then uh, I need to go to uh, log into the systems and like log into the system and I need to shut down but that is a time-consuming process and in high uh, hyper-v environment uh, for a uh, for a hyper-v administrator this process is not easy might I need to shut down 50 or 100 of machine it is not possible for an, an administrator to log in in each machine and need to shut down so simply we have very very good option we will simply right click then we have the option shut down if I click on here and that means my machine is going to shut down second option I simply connect to this particular machine and then I am able to see this red button when I click on this red button so my machine are going to be shut down and this integrated service help me to pass the, the command of shutdown from my uh, my uh, guest uh, host operating system to my guest operating system right it's very easy you can able to see that simply I'm going to click here and now you'll able to see I'm having the option shut down when I click here so it asks me to shut down yes so now you'll able to see the status here so now the machine is in running state and when I click on that particular command shut down and after that it will show me uh, like a, a shutdown state so it will take a bit time because uh, uh, my host is not that much powerful that's why now you can see that now the system state become off right so it's very easy for uh, hyper v manager uh, to shut down of uh, a guest operating system with the help of this integrated service now <coughs> we go to the another integrated service the another integrated service is time synchronization what is the time synchronization this service will basically help to synchronize the time of uh, host hyper-v host with uh, the guest operating system means whatever the time we have in the hyper-v host will able to shrink with the guest operating system so now uh, I just want to show you how it is going to work. So now I'm going to connect to my client, right? And let's see how this integrated service help me to synchronize my time.
so uh, we have the option here right uh, like now my system is back so I am able to log in in this system so mm, so I am going to log in into my system right and so I am giving the password and then we will able to see how this time synchronization feature works machine from RDP so we can see a better view so finally uh, we able to see right so I'm going to open a command prompt Typing is showing me the time 21, 52, 24, 69, and similar. So we'll, I will go to the host, right? And so and now we'll able to see what is the time zone of my uh, host operating system. So simply we'll click here. We'll uh, we simply go to. So you can see that the time is the similar time we have now I, I would like to change the time of my guest operating system I'm just putting a new time here which is 11 0 0 0 0 dash 0 0 so now I'm having a new time in my system so if I will type time we'll able to see that no the new time is not effective because time synchronization service is working on the background so let me uh, remove the integration of this service uh, so I'm going to uh, uh, sorry um, uh, let me uh, disable this service so I'm going to uh, the host right setting and then I'm going to remove this time synchronization service from here uh, let's see uh, now I want to change the time here again I'm putting 11 0 0 11 0 0 0 when I enter here and then now I'm typing the time command I will able to see that so then the time got changed and now the system time become 11 o'clock so let me enable that service back so and after that what will happen we'll able to see so again I'm going to the setting and in the setting integrated service let me select the integrated service time synchronization again and then we'll hold the client and then uh, we have to type the command time then we'll able to see that my time is automatically changed from 11 to 21 so this is one of the amazing service which always helps to synchronize your time so now we'll go to the another integrated services again let me click here and then we have the next service which is called data exchange uh, so what exactly the data exchange basically uh, the data exchange is a service which help to set, delete and exchange specific registrar keys between host and guest operating systems so means uh, uh, certain time and a host and guest need to exchange certain values to run a service and this service will help to exchange the registry value with each other so now we'll going to the next hub which I hope most of the people already aware about the what heartbeat but this is not the, uh, the cluster heartbeat this heartbeat is basically a different so this heartbeat basically 
a process between uh, the the hyper-v host server and the guest operating system so in, in the heartbeat the hyper-v host is basically uh, uh, getting uh, sending one heartbeat message to uh, the guest operating system right and guest operating system will reply back to the server so the server will get to know about the condition of the guest operating system right so if uh, a server uh, the host server will not receive any message from the guest operating system that means that 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 machine is not working right so this is the fundamental of heartbeat then we'll talk about the the backup right this backup is basically use, using a service called VSS. Uh, I hope everyone is familiar with the VSS, which is Volume Shadow uh, Copy Service, right? And this VSS service enable uh, one host operating system to take the backup of the guest operating system into running mode. I hope you have enjoyed the video, and uh, for the further, I'd like to.